What's good, YouTube? Because of Kobe here. So, we got a request from Wade. This one is some more Flight of the Concords Hippopotamus versus Rhinoceros. That's a fantastic title right there. <laughs> these two are funny as hell. I love getting into these guys. We just did a really awesome rap song from Just Trey called Gone Bad with awesome bars and flow style inside of it. So, I thought it would be great to close the night out and follow that with some hip-hop style comedy from Flight of the Concords. Way, thank you for sending this to me. I appreciate it. You got a whole bunch of stuff on your list that we're going to get to, but we're just getting through them as we go, right? This is next on our list from Way. Well, not next. It's not next. This is. I'm just picking them in whatever order fits the theme of what we're doing that night, right? I'm just matching them up with whatever it seems like we're going with rock and roll or like a hip-hop kind of vibe or what have you. I'm kind of trying to match it up a little bit like that. So we will see what we get with some hip-hop comedy from Flight of the Concords. We already got one in the last one we did from them. They were rapping and being really funny, and I had a blast making that video. So we'll see what we get with some more hip-hop comedy from Flight of the Concords. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe for me. We talk about mental health, addiction, world issues, everything in between. We're here for laughs with this one, so I'm going to break down the lyrics for you guys. I'm sure they got plenty of jokes. Their dry humor is something else, man. I never know what to expect with these two. They're so random and off the wall, and I love that about them. I really like that about them, so epic vibes from these guys lots of laughs and that's one of the reasons why i like to get on here is to have some laughs and have some good times with each other i know it's tough times in the world a lot of people feel down it's tough to survive whenever you got a lot of fucked up shit happening in the world like we do right now it seems like a lot of a lot of things just aren't getting better whenever we hope that they would so you just got to go out there and you got to make the best of it, man. And if you struggle with mental health and addiction, I know that's something a lot of people fell into, especially during the pandemic period of time. Yeah, mine certainly got a lot worse during that period of time. I can tell you that much. It almost took me out. That shit almost took me out, man. I was tell you, it was fucked up. It was really fucked up, so I know how hard that was for everybody. So if you're somebody who's struggling with that, please go get professional help for those issues. I had to do it for myself, and I got on here to try to inspire people and encourage them to do the same thing. You guys showed up and changed my life into something that I never in my entire life thought it would actually turn out to be, and now we're here having a blast together every single day inspiring people and appreciating music and I get to make my own music and everything too everything about it is exactly what I always wanted so thank you guys very much for that please go get help if you need it live your best life inspire others to do the same thing on the other side of it we're gonna get into this for you I'm Vakasa Kabi a reaction video a day or two keep the doctor away Fuck those apples. Hippopotamus versus Rhinoceros. Flight of the Concords. And our, our next song is going to be our sort of one of our gangster folk crossovers. Um, <laughs> now this is Brett, and I'm Jermaine, but um, we're also known as in the. I mean, back in New Zealand, where rap, where we invented rap. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Brett's known as the Rhinoceros. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm 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 AKA as um, the hip hop apotamus, um, <laughs> and and this is just a gangster rap battle yeah, between us. The, um, <laughs> the hip hop apotamus versus the rhinoceros, um, featuring the hip hop apotamus and the rhinoceros. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Their intentional awkwardness is amazing. Yeah, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. 
They call me the rhinoceros, not because I'm fat, not because I got birds on my back, but because I'm horny, I'm horny. <laughs> when I'm on the mic, I'm a global warming, you can't ignore me. In the bedroom, I'm the gentleman, the ladies come before me. Check your yellow pages, I'm a registered rhinocologist now. I'm passing over the mic to the hip hop potamus. Yeah, they call me the hip hop potamus. My lyrics are bottomless. <laughs> I would be fucking lying to you if I said I had any half of a clue of what Brett said in most of that. <laughs> Heard your man loud and clear, though. <laughs> oh my goodness. He didn't say what's on the original lyric sheet, but we can read that, though. They, the lyric sheet said, I'm the mother flipping rhinoceros, my beats are fat, and the birds are on my back. He says, and I'm horny, if you choose to proceed, hold on. He said, if you choose to proceed, you will indeed concede, because I hit you with my flow, the wild rhino stampede. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just wild, I'm trained, domesticated. I was raised by a rapper and rhino that dated. <laughs> I was raised by a... <laughs> oh. <clears throat> said I was raised by a rapper and rhino that dated. My word. <laughs> Subsequently procreated. That's how it goes. He said, here's the hip hop eponymous, the hip hop hippo. I love it. I fucking love it. It's actually good writing. It's good bars. <laughs> it's funny bars. I like funny bars. But Jermaine over here, the hip hop eponymous, he says, they call me the hip hop eponymous. My lyrics are bottomless. <laughs> There's only two of them. There's no bottom to the lyric sheet <laughs> on his end of things. But my lyrics are bottomless. fucking ridiculous that's fucking ridiculous i love it i like i said i am not quite sure everything that brett said in his section he started going really quickly he said a whole lot maybe we could bring it back hold on let's pull it back to like here They call me the rhinoceros, not because I'm fat, not because I got birds on my back, but because I'm horny, I'm horny. <laughs> when I'm on the mic, I'm a global warming, you can't ignore me. In the bedroom, I'm the gentleman, the lady. Wait, wait, they're supposed to be battling each other. Why is Jermaine being his hype man? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these two are fucking hilarious. <laughs> Come before me, check your yellow pages. I'm a registered rhinocologist now. I'm passing over the mic to the hip hop potamus. Yeah, they call me the hip hop potamus. My lyrics are bottomless. Sometimes my rhymes are polite, like thank you, Mrs. Johnson, for dinner. That was delicious. Good night. And other times they're obscene, like a pornographic R18 dream about bitches smothered in margarine. Ha 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 ha. ha. <laughs> That's not even close to the strangest rap -a bar that I've ever heard. <laughs> Some of them are just out of pocket. Man. 
Sometimes our rhymes are polite, like thank you for the dinner, Miss Wright. That was very delicious. Good night. <sighs> Sometimes they are obscene. He says like a pornographic dream. R-rated. NC-17 is what the lyric sheet says. With the ladies in a stream of margar margarine. <laughs> yep, bending the word, right? He said bitches in this performance, though, and then acted like he had done something cool sarcastically. I like that. <laughs> I like that. That's fucking dope. Funny as fuck. So what, they're just playing with the concepts of hip-hop obviously, and re relating their comedy to it, and I appreciate that. It's always good to have some laughs. And if this is like, okay, so if this is the flow that they use when they're just fucking around and writing a joke song, it definitely means, like, see, to write a joke rap song, you actually would have to be able to rap. Because the sarcasm in it wouldn't seem effortless and seamless enough unless you actually could rap. You guys know what I'm saying. You can. They definitely both can rap. I bet you they could rap their asses off in their spare time. <laughs> Not that they aren't right here because the lyrics, well, Jermaine ran out. <laughs> but Brett, Brett has a lot of lyrics. And his lyrics are funny, they're witty, and I like them. I appreciate the way that he approaches this comedy. Very epic right here. Good laughs. This is just nice vibes right here. I love whenever we get into stuff like this. They call me the hip hop apotamus. I got flows that glow like phosphorus popping off the top of the There you go. Water dwelling mammal from Africa that's moved to the metropolis and been taught how to break dance. Where did you get that preposterous hypothesis? Did Steve tell you that? <laughs> What's he got to do with it? Okay, so he didn't run out that time. We got hit with them back-to-back -back rhymes. I like the back-to-back -back rhymes. These are really good. I knew he was going to pull some shit like that. I just told you guys that they can definitely actually rap. Jermaine just went in here. So they call me the hip hop eponymous flows the glow like phosphorus. <laughs> That's a fucking bar, bro. <laughs> Popping off the top of this esophagus, rocking this metropolis of not a large water-dwelling mammal. Where did you get that preposterous hypothesis? This guy right here. I love the tongue twisting. That I'm not a large water-dwelling mammal. Where did you get that preposterous hypothesis as a tongue twister? That's a fun one right there. Did Steve tell you that perchance? He said, what does Steve have to do with any of this? I love the, these bars right here. And this one right here, this section, Jermaine right here, the hip hop hippopotamus, beautiful rhyme scheme right here. This is actually really good writing. Like, all jokes aside, it's hilarious, but this is good hip hop writing. If they weren't joking, these would be really great bars in a rap song. And that's the point of them doing this, right? That's the point of them doing this. And I love that they do it. I like that they rap. I wasn't expecting that from them whenever you guys first introduced me to them. Right? But here we are. They can actually fucking write bars, and I like it. Where did you get that preposterous hypothesis? Did Steve tell you that? <laughs> What's he got to do with it? What kind of rapping name is Steve? <laughs> what kind of rapping name is Steve? He said... <laughs> Other rappers diss me, say my rhymes are sissy. What, 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 <laughs> he said, can you at least give me a reason why you think my bars are sissy instead of just saying that they are? <laughs> These two are fucking hilarious.
Yeah. Why, cause I rap about reality Like me and my grandma having a cup of tea There ain't no party like Bananas Tea Party Hey, ho Okay We're having tea with grandma, he said Nice Freestyle, hip hop apotibus Freestyle, hip hop apotibus style I'm freestyling just saying what comes into the top of my head like it's just r r random r r random um ooh ooh there's a picture of new york there's a picture of new york there's a big fat crazy picture of new york i'm just free new york freestyling the, the picture of new york freestyling Sometimes when I freestyle, I lose confidence. <laughs> <laughs> My rhymes are so potent that in this small segment I made all of the ladies in the first two rows pregnant. Oh, I think... <laughs> He said, I'll call your bluff. <laughs> oh my god, he called his own bluff. He said, sometimes when I freestyle and I start to lose confidence, and then he fucking freestyled something, and it was the most outrageous thing he said the whole time. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro, hold on. Lose confidence. <laughs> My rhymes are so potent that in the small segment I made all of the ladies in the first two rows pregnant. My guy. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Lose confidence. <laughs> My rhymes are so potent that in the small segment I made all of the ladies in the first two rows pregnant. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Sometimes my lyrics are sexist, but you lovely bitches and hoes should know I'm trying to correct this. <laughs> Oh my god, he said he knows that sometimes his lyrics are sexist, but if you would take the time to notice that he's trying to correct this. <laughs> I don't fucking lie. <laughs> you love it. <laughs> When I say ooh, all the ladies go ah, ooh, ooh. When I go ooh, all the fellas go or or ooh, ooh. But keep it real sexy, fellas. Ooh, ooh. That's my dogs. Oh, man. When I go ooh, all the ladies go ooh, Lady the Cocos, you're so big. Ooh. My word. Fucking oh, hilarious. Thank you. Oh. thank you, ladies. <laughs> you didn't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fantastic. Frodo, don't wear the ring. Frodo, don't wear the ring. Um, it says... Oh, my God. You guys, one of you told me to do that one, too. That part broke me up so much that I fucking didn't break down a single lyric, hardly, <laughs> except for the 
fucking couple that made me full saddened, right? Oh my goodness, bro. So, on the lyric sheet, the lyrics were, My rhymes are records, they don't get played, because my records and rhymes, they don't get made. And if you rap like me, you don't get paid, and if you roll like me, you don't get laid. He didn't say that in this. But fucking Christ, that's what's on the lyric sheet. They had the awkward silence, and then Jermaine came in. So, it's like, Brett, Brett had the lack of confidence in the burst before this and then Jermaine came in with his full confidence after the awkward section he said my rhymes are so potent that in this small segment I made all the ladies in the second row pregnant he said in the original lyric sheet it just says I made all the ladies in the area pregnant (laughs) (laughs) this fucking guy Sometimes my lyrics are sexist, but you lovely bitches and hoes should know I'm trying to correct this. (laughs) Oh, I fucking can't. (laughs) Oh, Jesus Christ, bro. Man, he's a, <laughs> fuck it. I'm the mother flipping. Who's the mother flipping? I'm the mother flipping. And then they just ended on mother flipping on the lyric sheet. These two are ridiculous, bro. And they actually can rap. I mean, let's be fair here. <laughs> Jermaine is wild. (laughs) That man is unhinged. (laughs) I love it. I fucking love it. I'm all here for stuff like this. This stuff cheers me up. This kind of stuff is my favorite way. Thank you. I'm struggling to catch my breath because I was laughing so much. Y'all have winded me. And I wasn't even rapping. (laughs) I get winded less from rapping. (laughs) I love you guys, bro. I love when you send me shit like this. These are some of my favorites. I fucking love stuff like this. This was really, really awesome. I'm glad we did this. Way, I appreciate you, man. Thank you. And thank you guys for tuning in to all the videos and hanging out with me. We have a really good time on here, and I'm glad that you guys enjoy all the content and the videos, the music, everything that we do on here. I appreciate all of your support a whole lot. It really means the world to me. The original video for this will be in the description. As always, subscribe to Flight of the Concords. This is the first time I've managed to arrive on their actual channel, so I'm going to do that too. I love you guys. Thank you very much for all the support. Go check out the remix I put out. Go check out my album, Stranger Labyrinth. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything. We gonna get out of here. I love you guys. I'm Vikasa Kavi. A reaction video a day or two. Keep the doctor away. Fuck those apples. Leave a like for me, comment the suggestion, subscribe up this way. Bang that notification bell for me. I'll see you guys in the next ones. I love you so much. Thank you for everything. I got a new album coming out soon. I'll announce the release date for it soon. I love you guys. Y'all have a blessed night. We're going to get out of here. Peace.